This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, 725 Tuesday. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to talk some professionalized wrestling with you. And I got a hell of a crew with us tonight to do so. Some who also wrestleize, wrestleize in a professionalized manner. I'm going for it. Uh, first, first, the guy on here that games in a professionalized manner uh, over on Twitch, Riz plays games. The Riz is with us. I am here, Sorg, and I don't wrestleize. I just pretend to play video games really good on Riz plays games. And also, let's see if it turns on. It's going to turn on soon. Uh, it's what loading. Props? Please I have, wait. I have your. I have indiewrestling.us. Oh, on a Twitch, right behind me. There it is. Right there. There it is. There's John Roden. What's up, John Roden? There's, what's up, John McChesney? Prospect Pro oh, Wrestling. There it is. Uh, awesome. Riz is with us. <laughs> also with us, he's one of the good guys. And we did accidentally wear the same shirt today. We did not plan Ooh, this. I feel weird. I, I, we, Some, it just happened. Yeah, Sometimes it just happens. Ryan Stark the is one with who, us. the one who pretends to wrestle eyes. Oh, right, I I just pretend to manage us. Yes, <laughs> and he pretends to sign. <laughs> As I got to yell at him about his penmanship last week, <laughs> it was a mess. <laughs> I was like, "What is that? A one? Is a twenty-one? It's like no, it's a two and exclamation point." I was yeah, like, you're like, this one exclamation point. I'm like, this one exclamation point. I was like, point. I call bullshit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so also with us you heard the voice tyler klein of the runway is with us as well how you doing sir hello how are you he's just disappointed in all of our wardrobes right now yes i'm very especially since that you did say that you had to up, take it up a notch and obviously you went down four different levels with well, I, ugly for- shirt. I forgot <laughs> i forgot <sighs> i'm like ah eh, wrestling t-shirt drawer this looks good i haven't worn this for a while uh, it's not in the rag drawer, are you sure? That's where it that's should be. about the same thing. Oh. Some of them, some of them have been around for a while. Some of them, but man, those those Cleveland Mafia shirts really held up though. Uh, from, and Jason Gorey shirts from like 2006. But anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem show. It's not just about wardrobe, but I mean, it can be, sure. Uh, but you can check out everything at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You can support or I'm sorry, you can subscribe to the show on your favorite podcast place and over on Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook a page youtube uh so you can catch the show also you can drop us a line at that email address good times good well, times at wrestling riz riz is riz oh. is holding it down i was apparently on mute oh okay oh yeah. can, we, can we give it a take darn two? uh oh, you can, good times you can hit me at that email address good times there you go at wrestling uh and also I did it once i'm good don't 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 hit your mute button when you call us at 412-206-WMS0 they hit the hotline leave a message tweet us at mayhem show and again we are uh follow at all the places we are live every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern time on facebook live on twitter with that mayhem show on uh the uh the twitch uh, for Sorgatron Media and the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube page, where this guy keeps wanting me to buy followers from him, and he needs to stop. Go away, both of you. Oh, he has a friend. I have, I have a good he, Twitch story about that. He too. has a friend that's doing the same thing. Look at that. So <laughs> you got well, you got somebody trying to make you buy followers too, Riz? No, I got hot local moms. Hot local moms? Nice. Is that your demographic? No. Is it for your demographic? No. <laughs> it is not. Look. Yeah. Look at this. He says, look at this. <laughs> just look. Would you just look at Are it? they there for you? No. No? <laughs> okay. We're, we'll, we'll talk about your demo uh, appeal later uh, 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 after the show there, Riz. Uh, yeah. Anyways. 
<laughs> but you can watch this show at 9 p.m. on whatever format you like, and please be part of the chat room. Mm-hmm. If you are joining us in any of the chat rooms, please share the show um, or catch it afterwards. Please share a like, leave a review, if you're especially if you're on the Apple Podcast side of things or Google Podcasts. That helps other people find the show, and we do pay attention <laughs> to the chats. Uh, try to across the board. I'm only one man with at least five different streams and chat rooms. 50 plus demo is the Riz demo, according to the chat room. Are you the 50 plusers? Is that what's up? Yeah, that's that, that's pretty much it. Like the 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 moms or the or the dads. That's pretty much it. Okay, all right. <laughs> moving on. Uh, Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you, everybody that follows or supports us over there, including our friends Bo Diggity. Woo! On the fan of the show level, as well as Ed Burks, Bobby F. J. Town, and Team Hammerfist, our friends at the Poppy Club level, Bradley Ruthers, Dave Potter, Daniel Towery, and Tina Keys. Buzz for Bradley. Buzz for Bradley. And at the Pizza Club level, Doc Remedy and Kyle Turner. And at the manager level, our friends at OccupyProWrestling.com and Farnsworth Investments. You guys can support the show, too, at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. So... Speaking of wrestling, because that's the name in that's on the that's on the that's on the uh, I I fucked it up. Uh, the marquee. It's on the marquee. It's on the marquee. That's the thing. That's the thing that's going on. I got um, you. So there's there's a bit of wrestling news going on. Uh, looks like some people are realigning here in the middle of the. I'm not. Ter- I need I need a Matt Carlin's on this, but um, I see that uh, DDT and Noah in Japan are going to be. Um, combining on September 1st for Cyberfight. Are you guys familiar with either of those promotions? I mean, I've only, I mean, I've seen clips here and there and o- only know them as the other promotions in, uh, uh, in Japan. It sounds like they're, they're joining not because of the current pandemic, but this might've been something that was already in the works. Are you, are you guys aware of this? Looking forward to this? Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing it, but I would definitely watch it. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they have like, with what DDT does, like I'm for it. Like mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know many wrestlers in that area, like that area, but I've have watched clips. I've had I've watched the, the the Twitter feeds of everybody just posting random shit from those places. Mm-hmm. So I'm in. I'm it's in. it's usually the goofier like Japanese stuff that we see, right? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the Tyler They're very violent. What's that? Or the very violent. Oh, so yeah. both sides. So basically, they take it like like even further in every direction than New Japan does, right, Tyler? Mm-hmm. So, okay. So, but Cyber Fight seems like a very I don't know if that's of this generation name, uh, but it may it may work in Japan, I guess. So hopefully that means there'll be an online only property that we can subscribe to <laughs> and see a little bit more of, right? So. Um, I mean, it could be Taboo Tuesday if they want to. Yeah, <laughs> like, is this a good idea? Two names that have had like had all these years of uh, of history, and we're just going to turn into Cyber Fight, like, yeah. like it's sure. an oddball ECW tape. Because um, was it was it one of theirs a uh, 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 Cyber Slam or something like that? Oh, Cyber Slam! Cyber I don't know, but I hope they uh, they hope book. Ugh, I hope they book the uh, ECW Zombie. Oh jeez! Like, let me tell you, he still pops up on posters, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Oh boy, we were talking about this one. Um, I saw this one in the group here. Uh, SummerSlam. It sounds like it may be on a boat or at the beach. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Oh. Take a good hard look at me. I wish I could slap Ronnie through the screen right now. <laughs> Are we? Are we? Down, I mean, we, we. The final announcements came out this past week that is definitely not going to be in Boston. Boston? Yeah, it was Boston. They were yep. going. It to. was supposed yeah. to be Boston. Why yeah. would we want to go to Boston anyway? But that's just me. What happens in Canada? Oh, we can't go across the borders. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that'd probably be a little hard for them. Um. So, so apparently, a boat, a beach. I mean, that's. It's going to feel very WCW at that point, probably. But uh, Sorg, will there be hose? What? Oh, boats but, and hose. Because oh. I gotta have me the boats and hose. I are we still on the song? Uh, yeah, we are. I yeah. never left the song. Okay, I needed a context <laughs> for that one because I thought we were going down a different road. I'm um, hoping that they like maybe do like a cinematic match again, where you know somebody gets eaten by a gator, maybe like <laughs> oh. that. Like they've gotten that new video game that's coming out. 
that they've made all like very over the top. Just the shark comes out of the water, eats yes. somebody's leg. Isn't I mean, that... That's the way we're going with the eyeball stuff, right? <laughs> and you know they're working on the, the game well before the pandemic. I think we had an announcement before everything got shut down, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, like how how appropriate is that, that that game is coming out here in the next couple months when that basically reflects what's been happening in professional wrestling? It looks terrible. It looks I horrible. love it, dude. It, 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 it's, not no. a, it's not a simulator. I love these goofy arcade wrestling games. Well, like, I mean, it's like that old, it's like the old, I think an old SmackDown game where if you hit a move on somebody, you could punch them and then they bounce 20 feet up in the air. Uh, and all stars. For about all stars. 20 minutes all stars. Up again. <laughs> all stars. Oh it's like a mix between all stars and Slam City. Oh, yes. The, oh, wow. the, the cartoon. It really is Slam City, the video game, isn't it? It pretty much is. And Sla- Slam City was this, um, it's on the network. I think it's still on the network. Um, it was a, <laughs> it was like a claymation kind of cartoon, that, and they sold toys for it. Like mm-hmm. like these d- weird... Uh, wrestlers oddly, with real jobs. Yeah, wrestlers with real jobs. <laughs> CM Punk sold ice cream. Yeah. Oh God! It was so strange, <laughs> so strange. But so. But if this is if this is going to lead to Rey Mysterio getting thrown off a tall ass building, having his eye, both of his eyes out, I'm waiting for and getting magic thrown off a boat. Eye back. What's going to be? Didn't like, um yeah yeah no like 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 Rey Mysterio has like every time that there's something cinematic he either gets uh locked in a cage or thrown off a building like he is <laughs> creativity outside and the it ring all started is not kind with, of uh, with I think and when the NWO came in and just uh, javelin him through or not through like just javelin him to a wall what like a, a like well, a, the, uh, the ball, metal, the, ball. Like the metal uh, trailer wall. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I mean, hmm? he he's just he has bad luck, but he's really good at bad luck. I mean, the best Rey Mysterio thing ever is what he's doing is round, and then just completely everything just breaks and falls. Yeah. Probably the best one, best moment ever. <laughs> Edge couldn't keep it together, locks away. <laughs> <laughs> That's my um, favorite, anyway. What what happened at Rey Mysterio? Just be like, what crazy shit can we do to him this week? But um, no, yeah. I'm like, I'm look. I mean, as much as I can look forward to to a WWE show like this, like it's going to, it's something that's going to feel different, and and they're really hurting for that right now, aren't they? Uh, in the long run, but we're gonna have to take over the night before everything looks like straight up. NXT wrestling match, um, you know, from full sale. So at least that looks a little different. I, li- I like their presentation better than what they do at the Performance Center. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a lack of giant ceiling fans or something, but um, I, it's probably just because that's where they've always filmed, so you're used to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's it's you don't notice the difference as much when they do it there because that's some place where they've always done the matches at full sale. So it's built specifically for that, all the giant screen, all the showmanship, everything else like that. But true. I think that's probably why, at least I think, is why it doesn't feel as different because it's they haven't really moved. They still have that um that over the center of the ring screen LED kind mm-hmm. of situation, whereas mm-hmm. the performance center, they're like, let's throw some TVs up there, mm-hmm. I guess. Um, yeah, it does feel kind of hacked together in the long run, too. So. It's and here, let's do a promo in this closet over here with a ring. <laughs> okay, so it's like you couldn't dress that up better. WWE, are you running out of room? I, I don't know. It's it's it, it just feels like when you're you're the marquee uh, pr- uh, promotions, you could do a little bit more with it in the long run. Take over on a dilapidated boat the night before. Yeah, it says Bobby F J Town. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, you mean like a fresh uh, Randy versus Big Show match? We find out Ray is a robot, and the real Ray is still in the cell. Yes, there I'm in Ooh. for. That's why. That's what. That's what, didn't Alistair Black just lose an eye last night? Who he, doesn't he lose to at this point? I. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Well, we got we got Dominic at least in there. That'll be big. 
Uh, Until he loses loses an eye. Until he loses an eye. I don't know. It's so strange. Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre. That's going to light us on fire on a boat, uh, of course. Who's going to get thrown off the boat? That's what I'm curious about. We're thrown in a lifeboat and dropped over the side. <laughs> Ray Mysterio. Yeah. How, where, where is the Titanic <laughs> reference? Where is the uh, every every boat? I'm for that. Wasn't, wasn't Speed 2 on a boat? Speed 2 was on a boat. Uh, sudden Impact? The, one of the Seagal movies was on a boat. I think I can go on. I think Sudden Impact was that hockey movie. I think oh, it's Sudden Impact. No, no, you're thinking, sudden, you're yeah. thinking of Sudden yeah, Death. Of. Deep Impact? No, that was the thing. Deep Impact was an asteroid movie. Deep yeah. Impact was an asteroid Ugh. movie. Deep Impact. Now I'm going to freaking look this up. Hold on. Let me check Netflix. Uh, Matt Carlin <laughs> says, I just want a ring on a little island and the wrestlers need to ride boats to the ring. Wrestle Island? Wrestle, Wrestle Island. That'd mm-hmm. be fantastic. Uh, Titanic was on a boat. Yes. It was on the Titanic, uh, Bobby. I was wrong. It was under siege. Was it under siege too? When he's like the no, c- cook, just one. The, the, it was just under siege. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you put two? I think two was on a train. <laughs> Poseidon. Oh yeah, two was on the train. People are just <laughs> people are just naming water movies. Poseidon Adventure. What are we doing? Here? Water. World. Did you guys know yeah. that um, Deep Blue Sea three came out today? Three. Yeah, three? C3. Yeah. There was a two? This is the one where Samuel L. Jackson got eaten by a shark, right? Yeah, the okay. first one. The first and then they one. remade the first one and called it Deep Blue Sea 2, but it was the same plot as the first movie. Oh, like Evil Dead. But Evil Dead's a classic. It is a classic, but the, the second one's basically a remake, right? Because they realized it was supposed to be a comedy, so they just made it again. Mm. Mm. But, um... Yeah, so Deep Blue C three. I'm gonna rent that and watch that this weekend. <laughs> instead and of I'm watching sure wrestling, instead of watching wrestling, is that the point? <laughs> I'm gonna do videos about me talking about really shitty horror movies. Yes, yes. I think it's oh, gonna be a thing. Geez. Oh man, we must be making it on Twitch because people are threatening to kick our asses over there. Is this is this a common occurrence, Riz? I know. Probably. Why. They're going to kick our asses? Oh, why Twitch? are they going to kick our asses? I don't know. Because it's Twitch. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey. That's what people on Twitch do. Yeah. People what? on Twitch. I'll kick your ass. Don't, don't Let's be realistic, ass. Ronnie. Yeah. I won't do anything. And you guys will do nothing and like it. Yeah. 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 The other thing that got some uh, good discussion this week was Pat McAfee. I said his name right this time. I, Dude, Matt I was McAfee. really Matt Pacafee. Yes. Um, I think he did something in football. Uh, so I, I watched this because I caught the apology woman up like yesterday, right? Uh, from Adam Cole. And I'm like, what is Adam Cole apologizing for? So I got a reverse. I got a reverse internet and I find the clip and I watched the latter half of the clip because I didn't have 15 damn minutes. I don't have time for this shit. I got busy. I got an important Netflix to watch. Okay, uh, all you needed was two minutes. All I needed, all I needed. All I, needed, I wanted to see the context because I feel like if you just watch the last minute of it, you're just like, "Wow, Adam Cole's pretty pissed." But I watched the last five minutes of it, and yeah. and um, uh, Ronnie, what happened during this interview? <laughs> all right, <laughs> so basically, did you, did you watch the Pat full Mac- fifteen minutes, or did you watch? Oh, I did. I yeah. had to. So, so give me a, the... give me the over context on this thing. So here's the thing. Pat McAfee was, uh, well, before I give you the context, let me take you back to what the thing is for the past, like couple months, Pat McAfee has been like running his mouth to Adam Cole, like just saying a bunch of dumb shit. And uh, I guess it's been like that for like a year. Is this like when Sam Roberts was saying that like Naomi isn't shit or something on, on the pre-shows is like that kind of vibe. Yeah. Okay. So basically I think Adam Cole, like just keeping us cool. Like no pun intended. And I think it was, uh, I think it just, he finally just lost it. He was like, you know what? Fuck you, dude. Like, you're an idiot. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it was bad. He, the whole interview, he was just trying to press Adam Cole's buttons the entire time. Mm-hmm. Until he finally made the short joke about him being too tiny. And then Adam Cole was just like, you know what? Fuck it. This is it. Uh, there, there were allusions to, like, him being uh, compared to Shawn Michaels. But it's like, hey, you're, it was basically you're like, small, and you're, hey, new, hey, you're no so- Shawn Michaels. And... And the, the part that got me, because he alluded to stuff with like being surrounded by Undisputed, that's where it seemed like it was storyline to me. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. like it, it, see, I don't know if he was edging it or or, or what, but like I I. I, I it seemed like he was asking like the horrible wrestling questions that I'm always afraid to ask. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So well, you have to take into consideration that Pat McAfee has the most annoying voice I've ever heard in my life. Where's that? Okay. Not, but, okay. So like, he, you know, he just he pressing buttons, man. And whether it was a shoot or a work, who knows? Mm-hmm. I mean, to me, I got the, the shoot vibes. But you know, mm-hmm. sometimes you just don't know. I mean, they invited him to uh, NXT this week. Yeah, and to, that and that, to that front, front Adam Cole that, that flags me a little bit on that one. Mm-hmm. Well, I think since it happened, now they want to make money off of it. Mm-hmm. So now they're going to legit do this. Okay, but he's he's worked for WWE though. Yeah, yeah. So that as, as an announcer, that doesn't mean he has a real job. Well, as a well, I think he was the only announcer because he was a fill in when, when everybody was like stuck in Saudi Arabia, right? Mm. Like yeah. it was it was that night and he showed up in, like shorts or something. Yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Uh but he's mostly been uh the, the kind of pre show commentator, you know, uh on I don't know, on bump or something maybe. He's like know. on the watch along. Yeah, he's doing the watch along thing. So like he's on he's on that kind of line of things. Uh, yeah. uh, so so yeah, he's involved, but I, I don't know how involved he is. Like I, I don't he- think he, he's not he, he's not training with them or anything, right? I, I can't no, imagine. No, no. With, he's just as relevant as a kicker is in football. I guess. Oh wait, he was a kicker. He was a punter. <laughs> I, well, I guess he was saying. I guess they were going because uh, when I when I tuned into it, it was when they were just getting at that Rip Rogers was at his house with his friends in a wrestling ring, so he got to do a little bit, so he respects wrestling kind of thing oh which, he got to take a few bumps and so now he respects wrestling yeah yeah <laughs> you know it, which doesn't give you an excuse to ask shitty questions about wrestling you know um so it, it's it's th- so that was the big blow up for this week i guess so it was entertaining you, i yeah. enjoyed it give people something to talk about you know it, it's not every day you see hear adam cool say fuck so. yes Yes. Yeah. And I don't even know. Is is this what is this show? Because I'm seeing the video clips. Is this show on like Sirius or something like that? Or I think it it's is. On, I think it's just on YouTube. You just now. Oh, he's just. He used YouTube to be on. Thing? He used to be on um, Barstool. I don't think he goes, he's there anymore. So I think he has his own special thing. On it's all YouTube. right. Everybody can have a YouTube channel. It's all right, Pat. <sighs> I mean, we do. Yeah, they so were more entertaining. Yeah. So, um, try to be. <laughs> try to be. <laughs> Tyler, did you see Ronnie. any? Did you see any of this uh, uh, back and forth this week? What? Uh, did you see any of this back and forth with the Pat McAfee Adam Cole thing? Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it on you. mine, but I just. I've been too busy focusing on other things to worry about that. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm sending it to you right now. I've seen the po- everybody has posted at some point, Ronnie. So, well, excuse me for trying to entertain you. <laughs> everybody That's just send fun. Tyler the video. That's everybody, fine. everybody at, uh, at him on Twitter. I believe it's T boy underscore Tyler Klein off the top of my head. Is that right? He's yet to follow me back on Twitter. Really? He's yeah. your co-host on the podcast, and you haven't followed. Oh wait, t- Ronnie, you just got back on Twitter what? like a week ago. Like wait. a week ago. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen my like follow to follower ratio? The reason for that. Yeah. You're not gonna. You're an ass. He says you're not gonna make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I got that. I got that. Very high point. criteria. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I follow your your buddies if that makes any difference. Which but only the trash talk them. Oh yeah, well you can trash talk what you want. That's what. Good guys. I mean, uh, we did win our fanny pack tag titles back. Oh, okay. did you? I missed this. Calm down. Uh, the week before. Oh jeez. Oh, did that post? Yeah, that posted. Mm-hmm. Yes, it did. Yeah. You guys held them for a hot minute. Good for They're you guys. Tacky and ugly, anyway. Oh uh, well, no, I can't deny that. But, yeah. Like that ugly shirt you've got on. Oh. How dare you, good sir? <clears throat> How dare I, please? <laughs> uh, anyways, 
Um, Xavier Woods is so G Riz. I feel like this is your story because this involves this, video games. This is me. So G four is coming back. Yes, the TV really? station is coming back to cable. Yes, and I only well, know this cable. It, maybe it gonna, cable. Maybe wait. We don't even know at this point. It's G four. It's G four. It's, it's probably going to be YouTube and or mm-hmm. Twitch. Okay, or something. Okay. I don't I don't expect it to be like a number on your TV somewhere down the line. But at okay. least they don't get to do cops anymore. <laughs> We don't get to play cops. We don't get, the, we don't, we don't get the, the pick up with, with having cops on the channel. Like in cops. the in the glory death yeah. days of G four or anything. <laughs> Jeez. Oof. Are they at least bringing back any of the old hosts? Because I'll tune in for that. Then I hear X play. I, I heard X plays coming back. I heard X play. I think attack. I think attack is coming back. Like all I know. Is, the show. Back to the, okay, is, is, we're gonna get Kevin Pereira, and we well, can't bring back Kevin Rose because he's like a Google millionaire now. Can't uh, do that. You and can't do and Olivia. Mun- you can't bring back Olivia Munn. She's because she's an X with Aaron Rodgers now. Okay. <laughs> you can't. Uh, Adam Sessler has been bitter on the internet. Last I knew. So yeah. give him something to do. He needs to play mm-hmm. a video game really bad. Uh, Morgan, Morgan Webb, Webb I don't know where, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Bring Morgan Webb back. I uh, love Morgan Webb. One of the uh, one of the Jeff girls. Jeff Keeley's probably going to be owning the place soon. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, one of the girls is working for Microsoft. Last I knew, doing stuff up there for like their in-house uh, Microsoft, uh, not television, sword. like channel the Channel Nine stuff. Or I think they were doing sort of. Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods. The point is, no. Xavier Woods wants to be on G4 as a host. So there has been a hashtag Creed for G4. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw Please We know how well up. those things work. <laughs> you never That's, know. You never that wasn't know. sarcasm. That was actually true. That's... Those type of movements are mm-hmm. showing up a lot lately with wrestling, and it's actually gotten people places. So it could probably work. That'd be, I mean, considering how much he's he's grown out of this uh, 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 his his uh, up up down down stuff, like he's become like the video game ambassador for uh, for WWE. You know, mm. it, 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 I really wanted him to bring back that. Remember that show on Nickelodeon that was about uh, Nick Arcade? Yeah, Nick I want Arcade, him to host yeah. Nick Arcade on Nickelodeon. Sorry. I'd rather watch Asuka play video games anytime than Xavier Woods. Oh, uh, I love true. her. YouTube. She's more entertaining. <laughs> She is. I think. Have I talked on here while I've just like watched her like put together a one up arcade machine for ten minutes for no reason? I mean I, like oh, it's so just like I, I miss her as a commentator. That was the most entertaining <laughs> thing for the longest time is her being a commentator. Yeah. Like forget the match. Let me just listen to Oscar be like commentate the entire time. I was more focused on that and laugh and having a better time. <laughs> oh jeez. It was good. It was good. Mm-hmm. Uh one of the pluses out of everything going on with WWE right now, so well, there's a lot of sighing when we talk about what's happening <laughs> right now. So, yeah. hey, you know what's making me not sigh? Hearing, uh, seeing good things happen in indie wrestling. A lot of that's happening over at IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network, or our partners, of course. A lot of great back catalog with IndieWrestling.network. Again, like the, the numbers have been, there's more people subscribed to the network than ever before. Um, there's a lot of great content. And, of course, working with our friends with Fight Underground and Prospect Pro Wrestling uh, with some new stuff. I mean, I guess I should have Riz up there because uh, there he is showing off some of that at hot Lebanon action. Lebanon Dawn versus uh, Chris LaRusso. <laughs> Whoa, there you, you go. Beware, though. Live in an undisclosed location in some state, in some <laughs> ass backwards state. Uh, but uh, but no, that stuff is still up there, no matter what the promoters are doing, because you you know we want to see uh, all these guys mm-hmm. in action. Of course, that back catalog is still up there for you guys to see as part of the network or on the Indie Wrestling US YouTube page. A lot of old shows. Some people are looking for some old stuff, and uh, I'll point them there for some old RWA, some old IWC, a lot of the classics uh over there as well as uh new content um as well from our friends you know uh, 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 classic matches from arise wrestling with a y rwa uh from prospect pro wrestling and of course that new stuff uh including including the quarantine challenge is happening uh-huh. that tyre klein is involved in that's with us still this in. week and still there we're in the we're, we're in the home stretch of this Lethal lottery style 
tournament that's been this happening. The semifinals, over the, if I'm not mistaken. This would be the semifinals. Yeah, so one more before the finals. Um, you are teamed, Tyler Klein, with uh, a, a, a legend in the area, Super Hentai. Yes. Oh, wow. And we've, yes. we've seen your... You wouldn't let me braid his mask last time, which is a little disappointing. I need some work. Oh, just wait until this weekend. So this match, everybody's going to want to watch it just to see what I had. I mean, if you saw the promo, obviously, you're going to want to see what I cooked up, the outfit I cooked up for hentai. Just saying, perfect. So, so hentai, um, this, what... I, I don't have any I don't know what the first question should be on this one wow. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know seeing what I've seen of this team up uh, so far um, you know first of all you're teaming up with like a, a storied veteran in the area like mm-hmm. I mean I pulled a match from like 1988 with this guy uh, and, and that might not have even been his first year I, 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 that, that I know of um, you know first of all obviously you're trying to imprint some fashion sense on him. Oh yeah. Um, so, so are you getting anything out of working with such a a longstanding veteran veteran in professional wrestling? What not to wear? There you go. Maybe. So, no, I so, mean I'm getting a lot. I mean I'm getting a lot work from him. I mean I think he's a little bit a little bit too much of a goody two shoes for my taste sometimes. But are we talking about the same hentai? He doesn't see me do anything, and I'm pretty safe, right? Mm. Has he I not mean, seen RWA hentai? <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, like, I'm just going by what's going on. I mean, hentai, when we took care of, um, man, can't even, half the time I can't remember the other tag teams in this tournament. I believe it was Philip and Ryan Die. The first yeah, week. that. I mean, I was on, I mean, I mean, you heard me on commentary on, you know, Calvin's match for CPW. I mean, they, fortunately, we got split up, but I mean, I couldn't even get their half their names right of the, I think I got them. I mean, they're all they're all the same. It really doesn't matter. They all look the same. There's only there's only one team outside of this quarantine challenge that you know stands out, and that would be the runway. But uh, I mean, working with hentai is fine. Obviously, we have a little bit to work on. It's a little pet project to make him look a little bit better, mm-hmm. you know, than he does. Try and get him. But I I think I nailed it in this next one. Okay. So I think I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. And then after that. We'll see who wins. Um, I, that I, had a, I can't even remember because it's not important. But I mean, it's just I mean, hell, the runway is still in. Mm-hmm. You know, unfortunately, like I said, I mean, we got money out of the first match with Calvin, so we're not complaining about that. That gave uh, yes, a lot yes, of money. money so. I, I think I think uh, you t- you t- uh, Calvin walked away with uh, Lebanon Don's bribe. I was meant for the other team or the referee or something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, win win. He didn't, I mean, he didn't get pinned. Mm-hmm. Joey did. Lebanon Don did. Um, no problem. So let's say, I mean, you still have, you still have in this tournament, Bro Force, uh, uh, Body Up with Elijah Dean and Zach Nystrom. Uh, you, of course, this week have, uh, Stevie LaBelle and, uh, and, uh, Vice Principal Edgar Johnson in a, in a, in a uh, oddly working team up. Uh, itself. <laughs> uh, if you were to go the distance in the quarantine challenge, could you see Super Hentai uh, uh, being the uh, maybe third elder member of the runway? Uh, if you I mean, kinda... we'd have to work on that a little bit. Yeah, but right, Possibly, right. yes. We'll have to work on the. We'll have to work on the attitude. We'll have to work on the good guy. Whatever. We we'll have to work on the clothing for you know. Definitely, that's something that needs to be fixed right away. Um, say clothing. I never see him wear a shirt half the time. So I know, but I it's, it's, he's got a match. Yeah, we didn't match the first time. Look what almost happened. Okay, you know we're fine. Made it through it. This time we're gonna match. Okay, okay. You know, that's I have to work with that now. I mean, I'm gonna braid. I'm gonna braid that stupid mask too. That's just, have. I feel like it's distracting. Have there been any team building exercises between you and Super Hentai? No, I just give him directions. Okay. Okay. I mean, I just I'll send him things and and he can he can say no, but that's not going to happen because I'm just going to force him to do it anyway. Mm-hmm. I mean that I mean me me being his fashion consultant with this is the team building. I'm telling him what to wear. He's going to wear it. Okay. You know, I see that as a good team building thing, hmm. improving the look. I mean, I don't see a problem with it. Hentai hasn't complained yet. There's that. 
I mean, and it's not like, okay, so I feel like the other team has gotten lucky with where they are because what is it? The 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 principal who's actually not going to be in work, you know, soon anyway, so what's the big deal? That's right. He's, he's, been, he, he's not he's like been... he's going back to school. And like the most forgettable fourth, per, the for, most forgettable Hossman, horse, Hossman, right? Yeah. I believe currently the thinnest member of the Hossman. I the third and the, the, I mean, there's the three, there's, there's, there's Jamie, there's Jamie, Ringo. I forget the other ones. So he's semi, semi Hossman. So there's Jamie. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I know that, I know that Jamie's, you know, one of the Hossman, but the other, oh wait, no, we beat the one other one. That's right. Phil, Phil was the other one. And then, um, and then, um, then, um, the dude that thinks he's sexy, the fireman. And then I always forget that I always forget that LaBelle is the the fourth because it's kind of like the most, you know, it just goes down in relevancy from Jamie. Well, either way, that match will be dropping at 8 p.m. Saturday on Prospect Pro Wrestling's Facebook page and Instagram (laughs) and over on the IndieWrestling.us YouTube page. You can see all of the first two rounds in their completion on any of those formats, see all of the matches and all the uh, all the promos up till now. So I definitely uh, recommend that uh, uh, going on there. So um, also this past weekend, I got to see some wrestling, and I got to see you guys in person actually, which was you did kind oh. of the first time in three months oh. or so, except You're for first time in forever. <laughs> Well, hey, sorry, Riz. I was in your neighborhood for a COVID test, so I figured it wasn't good to visit. At the no, time. yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> Stay away. Stay so, away. You should come to the. You should come to the next show too, because I am going to whack Ronnie with a stupid whiteboard just for singing. For singing? Apparently, well, I, I mean, he, he just I'm a very good being. singer, sir. Just for being, uh, I think is the is the well, main. Well, you know what they say: once you see one Taylor Klein match, you've seen them all. So. Taylor? I don't know who Taylor is. Tyler, Tyler Klein. I said your name right. You haven't seen anything. Yeah, actually, you haven't Robin. seen anything. Yeah. Can you yeah. even see your toes? I can. Whoa. That's shocking. Wow. Fat jokes. That's just... Oh, yeah. That's uncalled for us. That's, no, it's not. Unreal. Hey, man. Quarantine's been hard on all of us. Uh, <laughs> it's true. So... Some more, some more than others, but uh, <laughs> I, um, so 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 you know I get to, I did get to attend um, in a secret location real shoot wrestling this uh, this past weekend in some some backward state I don't know uh, and uh, and uh, it was it was nice to be in the crowd for wrestling uh, it was uh, you know obviously you seen uh, you can see what happened Friday of course um, 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 O'Shea it's Edwards. Coming. Well, well, there's the past Friday is already up. Plus, there's mm-hmm. the next uh, show coming up this Friday. So, I believe every Friday at 10 p.m. for the most part, uh, yeah, they they are doing uh, their live shows. So you can go check that out. Uh, oh. So um, it was a, it was a good time. Again, seeing everybody again for the first time in several months, and and kind of seeing that in person. Um, and it was not an open to the public kind of situation like we've been talking about, and kind of. Um, um, you know, discussing over the last couple of uh, uh, weeks on the show, but uh, but no, they're doing uh, Tim and the, and the crew down there are doing a pretty good thing, and for doing mm-hmm. something that you know is not a show in front of fans, it's just for uh, 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 Facebook in a pretty simple way with the one camera and everything. Like it's it's mm-hmm. a really good it's a really good night of wrestling that you can. It's probably going to be better than what you saw on SmackDown that night. Ugh, I tried to watch. I, that. I love real shoot wrestling so much. So, and this is the first time I got the experience, and I've always heard so much about it, and and wanted to go down and check it out. So it was good to to, to see what's going on there. So, mm-hmm. but um, but yeah, it, and a lot of a lot of faces I haven't seen because I imagine they're local to uh, West Virginia or just don't come up to Pittsburgh uh, mm. uh, area at all. So I think they do Cleveland and down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I saw they they do shows around Cleveland, don't they? Mm-hmm. So like these guys, they get these guys go all over the place. Was uh, that your first time seeing O'Shea, or have you? No, I've seen O'Shea. I think he had a match with Max the Impaler and Rise. Oh, uh, nice. so that was my first experience there. Um, does he has he done premiere maybe up in Cleveland? Um, I don't know if that was in person or not, but I, I thought I might have seen him on one of those cards. So, but, uh, no, it was a good time. So everybody, please go, go follow the, um, real shoot wrestling over on Facebook and, uh, and you'll get the notification when they go live on, uh, Friday nights and any information about what's going on with them as I'm sure everything will evolve 
over the next few months as wrestling we'll wrestling we'll finds wrestling finds a way, uh, <laughs> as we've been saying the last few weeks here. Mm-hmm. So you know, you know who else is also finding a way? Our good friends over at Slice on Broadway. They did have a major announcement. We like to say four locations around Pittsburgh. Unfortunately, at the end of this week, there will be three locations at least temporarily, as they are looking for new ones for a fourth location. But they are will be leaving PNC Park. It's okay. There's no people there, and Nobody's there's barely there. and there's barely baseball. So who's going to eat the pizza? Uh, but Ooh. no, they are letting their lease lapse considering the uh, world situation. But of course, those guys generally are doing very well. Always very busy. Saw Rico, the owner, tonight when I went to pick up our stuff for uh, for the shows. Uh, so thank you so much supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with a perfect pepperoni pizza. And again, and, and that they're still looking for locations, even given what's going on right now, is really impressive and shows they're doing very well over there. So uh, give a shout out mm-hmm. to them. And if you're in the area and uh, it's not going to break, eh, their salads, that's not just pizza. They got a lot of good stuff, meatball hoagies, whatever salads, it is. Salads, hoagies, whatever uh, you the want. Salads you are, the, the chicken salad is freaking awesome, by the way. Um, nice. But we, we were picking those up for a friend with a gluten allergy for a little bit. And it, it's the buffalo chicken salad. Ooh, it's killer. Uh, so give them a shout that out. You sound really good. Check them out. And I know Riz has been dropping by the East Liberty location a lot, I understand. <laughs> and that place has been packed every time I go. Has it? That's great. Like, like, mm. like, socially uh responsibly packed i understand oh right? yeah i mean yes. like packed with pizzas in on top oh, of the oh pizza, pizza packed yeah. gotcha <laughs> and, and by the way while you're in there wear, wear your fucking mask next <laughs> there you go there you go while you're at it wear your, wear your mm-hmm. fucking mask protect our pizza friends at slice on broadway just, just follow the fucking guidelines guys <laughs> speaking of which we will throw you a little promo, a little message from somebody about mass here in a moment. We'll be right back with the big question. And I think some of us kind of sort of, well, we kind of fucked up the homework. We'll find wait, out. You'll wait, find out wait. more in a moment. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. And now a public service announcement from Benjamin C. Steele talking to you about wearing a mask. Not this one. But this one, with everything going on right now with this pandemic, you need to wear a mask. My mask is for your safety. Your mask is for mine. Now, I don't care what your uncle's, brother's, best friend's, mailman's, roommate from college put on social media. Chances are they didn't think it through, and there's a very better than average chance that they're an idiot. So when you go outside, you put on your little mask over your face, put the little straps around your ears, and we're all going to be a lot safer. This is a team effort. And if we're being completely honest... Some of you need not only this mask, but this mask too. We are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Riz is with us, and Hi. he's taken over the uh, mod duties over on our Twitch page because people being fools over there, of course. Yeah, yes. I got I got it on lock. Yeah, he's got it on lock. Tyler Klein still with us, judging us. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. Yes. Very Constantly. much. Only Ronnie, mostly though. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm out of the, I'm out of the trophy boy doghouse. Thank you. Uh, so, Barely. and of course, bear, hey, do I can. Ronnie Starks is with us, and I understand he watched Ooh. some wrestling as well. <laughs> Did you boo him? <laughs> no. Boo this man. Ronnie, I, I understand that you did happen to watch the Impact Wrestling pay-per-view from, and nobody else in the Mayhem uh, uh, podcast universe, I believe, did that's been on the show since. Um, but I am curious because I, 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 I have this soft spot for impact. Mm-hmm. They were doing so well uh, uh, when we, we did some work and everything. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and doing such interesting things. And I'm, I'm curious how they're faring now with everything. Uh, they're doing okay. Okay. Obviously, um, obviously they got a lot of the faces that got let go from WWE. So, yeah, um, the uh, the tag match with the Motor City Machine Guns that was really good. Okay, who they who they take on? I can't remember. <laughs> the, the Rascals. It may have been the Rascals. Yeah. Okay. I almost said OBE, but the Rascals. <laughs> I don't know if any of the OBE guys are still there. I don't, I don't sure. think they are right now. 
Oh yeah, from yeah. Like I, I, I didn't think well, Sammy. We'll would, those two. I didn't think Callahan would still be around because I thought he was tied up in something. But um, yeah, well, he's there. He was yeah. in the uh, the title match. Yeah. Oh no, he he faced Ken, he was teaming with Ken Shamrock. What? Yeah, that yeah. Yeah, Ken Shamrock was still wrestling. Okay. Yeah, I knew he was, he was still was over. Bad. Yeah. It was very bad. It was um, bad. It was bad. And then uh, who else came back? Oh, Eddie Edwards won the heavyweight title. Mm-hmm. Eddie Edwards is doing a skater gimmick now. Really? Yeah. Like he he has some kind of mohawk and it's braided, and then he wears like skater pants and Vans, and he carries a skateboard. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So that's the thing. And uh, it was it was okay. I enjoyed it. Some of it. I skipped the. Uh, well, I was told to skip the uh, the woman's invitation about a royal because it was too long and just go straight to the finish. It's nothing against women's wrestling, everybody. I just you know, it was long. Okay. And uh, the pay per view, it was it was good. They're trying. Mm-hmm. And then um, Heath, Heath Slater is just calling himself Heath. So how how he's doing that? I don't know. <laughs> so so a lot of things that weekend, um, people said if you wanted to see a good wrestling show, you were been better off with impact wrestling than than what we got at uh extreme rules horror show um, oh extreme rules was terrible yeah it, it was it was garbage okay but yeah impact was good it was very good was it 40 dollars good no because no. i watched it for zero dollars uh, well, okay okay you, you had a hookup i get it i get it so <laughs> it literally showed up on youtube two days after oh it, no and- <laughs> So I watched it for free on YouTube. So I mean, they they need to be better about um, getting on that, but uh, maybe yeah. the new company's yeah. up about. It. Uh, uh, Tim Cross, Tim Tim Cross is in the in the chat room actually. He says Moose and Dreamer was poopy. It was, it was really <laughs> for the uh, the <coughs> TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, yeah. So so is it? I like should I be going out of my way to try to watch some Impact Wrestling to see what's up over there? Uh watch it on twitch watch it on twitch yeah i mean i don't i don't have access the good brothers, well the good brothers are there oh by the way uh zach hunter is getting the good brothers pay-per-view this saturday explain this to me there's a okay you know what let me, let me forgo the big question you know what the big question explain what impact wrestling is doing to me uh right now because there's this and then and then riz you shared something too so so these guys just showed up two weeks ago on the pay-per-view and now they have their own pay-per-view on fight what are they doing it's only 15 bucks it's only 15 okay sure sure what are they doing whatever the fuck they want what is the show is it is it southpaw wrestling the pay-per-view yes it, it's what? uh they're doing um what was his gimmick called uh Sex Ferguson? Yeah, he's doing Sex Ferguson versus uh, Anderson's character. Wow. Okay. And that's gonna, that's going to be a match. But everything else is going to be basically... It's in their backyard. They set the ring up in their backyard. Because, <laughs> I mean, Impact Wrestling's been the king of this because they're the ones that said, hey, Hardys, let's film in your backyard. And it yeah. became the best thing ever. So now it's like, hey, don't come to Canada Let's wait a minute. Don't they still film in Canada? I, it's in uh, it's in Anderson's backyard, I think. Well, well, well I'll be in the general show, but oh uh, yeah, the yeah. general show is in Canada. Yes, that had have been fun to get everybody up there for that. Um, uh, I can't wait to watch it. I, <laughs> from what I understand, it's going to be amazing, and I love. You know how much I love bad stuff. So mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's going to be fantastic. Hence why he's a good guy. <laughs> Chad, yeah. too bad. Is the other name? Chad, too bad. Yeah. So, thanks, Tina, for that. So, it's going to be their blow-off match that they were talking about on uh, <laughs> Southpaw Regional Wrestling. So, I'm so, really pumped about it. You're telling me that WWE and all their legalities never trademarked those things from those those uh, 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 characters from Southpaw. Uh, well, we never saw T-shirts for them, so that I is guess true. Not. That is true. Wow. And they were I'm, never in the game. Yeah. No. I mean, I need me a Sex Ferguson t-shirt, you know, and a Chad T. Bad shirt. Mm-hmm. But, uh, oh, Tina is pointing out that Slammiversary was uh, filmed in Nashville. Oh, it was at the old, I don't want to say the old fairgrounds, but they tore that down. 
No, I think they just have a soundstage or something out there. Do they? That's my guess looking at the footage that I have. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, it could be anywhere you put enough light walls up and, and everything like that, I guess. So, so, they're still doing empty arena. Like, they're doing no crowds still, right? Yeah. That seems strange today. Like, because most everybody has figured something out. It just... I mean, look at 2020, man. This year has just been strange. Right, right. I mean, you know, honestly, we can't really complain about anything anymore. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. If, hey, if nothing else, they're being responsible in the long run, right? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. good for them. Yeah, good for them. They even yeah. kick Heath Slater out. They're like, uh, you're on the show, and you know, you're not supposed to be here, and it's only for employees only, so we're going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> like they did, a, they did a backstage promo with him and uh, – Rhino, I and then uh, Scott Demore is like, you got to go. <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, wow. Uh, okay, glad to see them carried it over and having fun with it. I also saw that Hernandez and Rhino are having the world's longest arm wrestling contest. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've been seeing these bits, and I saw the Heath bit where he was like, call my buddy Rhino, but he was too yeah. busy doing something with... Also, Hernandez has a mustache, which is unsettling. Uh, uh, so... I like I always see bits like that. I'm just like, hey, something's happening over here, but it's not enough for me to yeah. dive in and watch an episode, you know, kind of thing. I just so. love comedy stuff, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh God. Look what's on Riz's TV right now. Hmm? Where is what's on your TV? Oh, oh, oh. Just Things just that gonna, cannot be named. Oh, just gonna, okay. Just gonna do that for a minute. Just All right, we're just gonna, gonna, we're just gonna skip that. Oh, we're just gonna skip that. There we go. Turn the trash there off. There we go. Mm-hmm. There we go. There is some uh, bad, unfortunately. Hey, there we go. Hey, Ronnie. What? I was in that. So was I. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I seem to. I think Sorg actually I, uses. I played no favoritism. The best clip from that match in the introduction for most of most of the stuff where it's you know us shoving a piece of paper in your mouth. I mean, yeah, sure. I sure that is in the too. highlight clips oh no i need to look at those highlight clips and see who's in you them. do there's a oh, great no. one i mean you didn't use the one where i socked Ronnie for real so that means, well, he, he busted my I busted he his lip. yeah i got to the back and i'm like oh, i'm bleeding you've never been over. prouder <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yeah i've been using that for an intro to the uh grind city show for a while actually now i think about it uh <laughs> so I am, paper I'm, rolled up, shoved right in Ronnie's face. Yes. Actually, in his mouth. Yes. Yeah. Uh, give you a good violation right to the face. Riz, what the hell? You said I had this post that Impact stole Mayhem Poop House. Yeah. When we never did anything within the last ten years, we so never, I think they can do. We never it. really did anything no, with that. No, we, we we did not rent a house and put all the, all the Mayhem guys in it and put cameras yeah. everywhere. And I don't know how it became the Poop House. Um, I think it was Bobby's idea. Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> it looks like they're doing some sort of Big Brother type scenario uh, with you know I with the wrestlers, of course. Mm-hmm. So we have Crazy Steve, Kylie Ray, uh, Cody Deaner, and I think that's Jake something. Uh, they're all like doing this weird. Just that Jake something is his name, by the way. I've, yeah, this is actually and, and they chant, and, they, in it. and I think he ch- he yells, "What's my name?" and everybody chants something, something, yeah, which is weird. <clears throat> uh, I, and and you know, just seeing him and having no contacts, I'm just like, okay, <laughs> like it premieres today. He's good. He's awesome. By the way, but it premieres. And today. I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> is it on YouTube? It's supposed to be on Access. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, they're doing this on. They're it's Tuesday this night. Are, is this what they're doing instead of Impact? I think because I remember they've been doing stuff like this for a while where Mm. they just do random shows because I remember the North did something kind of similar where they just decided to just wrestle random things, random people. (laughs) And it's just like, it it got, it it got weird, but I'm very interested to see where this goes. could be, like I said, Big Brother esque, or it could be their nod to like Legends House, which was amazing. Anything to have wrestlers in a house. Period. Should, I will watch. 
We should so, do like a quarantine show where like ten wrestlers quarantine themselves together in a house for fourteen days. See what happens. Kind of want to it's do just that. Tyler and Ronnie in the same room. Oh god, we oh, kill each god. other. No. We would literally kill each other. Ronnie wouldn't survive. Have you wouldn't survive. Oh, Listen, no, who's tall. going on vacation for two weeks that we can use your house? Let us know. Good times at wrestlingmamshow dot com, and we may have some new content for Indie Wrestling Network. Uh, so, <laughs> um, well, we'll keep an eye out for what's going on in Impact Wrestling. By the way, if you're interested in watching Impact Wrestling, of course, they do have the Twitch feed, which I love dropping in there and just watching random Impact Wrestling from whenever <laughs> that yeah. seems to pop up there. Like, that's awesome. <clears throat> out of context, Impact Wrestling, it doesn't even matter if it wasn't the good years. Like, just kind of seeing where people are is pretty cool. And in just the environment, and also wrestling with people in the crowd. Um, but uh, what is this vacation thing? Uh, but anyways, uh, 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 also if you sign up for their Impact Plus, you don't pay for it, but just like do the free account, you can watch. Because I was reading like their tweets today to see this. Uh, you can watch the Impact shows on demand after they they air. So oh. so like after tonight, you can watch tonight's show with the the. Uh, whatever you they called it, um, with the house thing, uh, situation and uh, and you know that seems pretty pretty straight up to to do that. So I don't know if it's gonna have commercials or anything like that, but still, um, that's worthwhile. So, yep. Um, so the homework we did have homework. Homework was assigned. It was. Hey, we got watching. it. And hmm. and we put the video out and we put it down and I sat down and watched some homework. I think most of us screwed it up. I think most of us... I'm going to take full responsibility for this. Because there was a date, and I did not track back the date when I was putting it in the notes about what this show was. I'm like, oh, sure, it's a Raw or something, right? I, myself... We're talking about William Regal versus Edge, January 20th, 2002. Now, officially, this is the match at Royal Rumble. Okay? Turns out... uh. I got confused when I searched for this, and I was like, oh, there's a Raw one. Oh, that's the January 21st. I'm starting to watch it and they realize... a lot. I, what's that? They wrestled a lot. They did during this time, during this like month and a half. So I'm starting to watch it. Edge is coming out, and he talks about losing the belt <coughs> the night before. So I go back to the search, and I see No Way Out right beside it with the same match. And I was like, oh, this must be from the night before. Not thinking it's January. Um, and by the way, it's the uh, No Way Out where the NWA or yeah, NWA the NWO um, comes back or comes to the WWE. So is that puts you in context for that. So um, I'm wrong. It was Royal Rumble that year. Was the match? Um, I don't know, right? What's that? It means we get half credit. We, we get half credit. Riz watched the no. match. Wait, but no. Tyler, you watched. The most of this match that was actually assigned, even with Russian blaring in your your other ear on YouTube. Yes. Uh, so I will defer to you, and then okay. we can talk about what we watched for partial credit, hopefully. Um, well, <laughs> the Russian was so bad I didn't watch it all the way through. Okay, I watched it on YouTube. Um, there was, I mean, it was a pretty hard hitting. This was a pretty hard hitting match, like. Obviously, like the at that time, I think Regal was using the brass knuckles a lot. Power of the punch, I um, think they called it, right? Yeah, but I didn't get to the end of it because um, I was at the gym and working out, and so prioritizing mm-hmm. um, <laughs> that I was never good at completing homework anyway. But you know, it started off like I mean, I I think the ref even put the nut knuckles like on the turnbuckle or something like that. Didn't hold on to just sat him on the turnbuckle on on the corner what? post, which is weird to begin with um there's a couple very interesting spots like when i when like i got there was a couple like head-on collisions i don't know if it was it just looked like a really painful crap time so i can understand why edge got you know was hurt later on especially after this one mm-hmm. but uh i mean that's where i got to in the match i mean other than that it was like really good matches you know definitely like a good back and forth kind of kind of match so I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed it when I, when I was able to watch it, like when I was 
you know, when I was watching wrestling back then. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, revisiting it, it's a good match to revisit, I think. Uh, does it does it does it call back to like are, are Edge and Regal some that you kind of look towards, you know, uh, uh, for inspiration there? Um, or learn maybe from? a little bit more William Regal than anything. I mean, I hide stuff in my trunk all the time, mm-hmm. but. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, I mean, Regal's a little bit more tactical and stuff like that. And Edge is, you know, a little bit more of a, you know, he was a little bit more of a flyer. So that's not really what I do. So I don't really take much from either of them. Uh, cause I'm not much of a striker or anything like that. I just like to, you know, get, get ahead when I can in my, in my, uh, in my matches. So, and, and by any means necessary. So I guess Regal would probably be a better, uh, better person to look at too. Uh, mm getting the job done so let's talk about the matches that you guys actually did watch <laughs> that you were supposed to uh riz what did you end up watching again i didn't watch anything so you didn't watch anything ronnie did you want to catch any of this you watched impact wrestling instead yeah i watched impact instead okay well what i did was um yeah i looked it up and and it was like oh yeah there's raw on the 21st oh well, you need something from the night before and uh, and I ended up watching the No Way Out uh, Brass Knucks on a pole match. So I got this. I watched two. I watched two um, um, uh, matches between these two, uh, both re- involving brass knuckles. And um, I, I, I it, it, it was, um, it was. It reminds you how much you like Regal. It uh, well, it, any match would make you. <laughs> remind you how you love William Regal. Yeah, and also remembering that like like Edge is 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 not too long after um uh going solo I believe at this point, right? Like I think he only broke up with Christian maybe like halfway through 2001. So, like it's kind of he's he's still a long ways before we get to rated our superstar in his development to like what it finally finally becomes right so like that was kind of interesting to watch um there was there was a point where regal goes down like he gets knocked down and i see him kind of flip over and it looks like he's like adjusting for something or weirdly moving and i realize what he's going into because like he just does this weird it looks like it's just an awkward wrestling move like it's a bad transition or something but what he ends up doing is doing a like a drop toe hold kind of thing where he just like tied up edges um um legs into a takedown you know like that they it, 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 you know just kind of came out of nowhere like that was kind of like good regal shit from back then and then for some reason i started thinking about him and goldberg and got really sad I went through a lot of emotions during these matches, but um, that's some good shit, pal. Also, also, Edge should understand that he needs to put the uh, brass knucks away after he's used them in a match to pin the guy <laughs> because it's right there in front of the ref, and then and then he 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 ends up Edge goes nuts and starts just hitting the refs after he gets disqualified during the Raw match, which would have been the night after the Royal Rumble match we were supposed to watch, which leads eventually down to the brass knuckles on a pole match because my context is all fucked up right now. Um, and he's, he wallops like two or three of the referees with brass knucks. Those guys should be like dead for a week in storyline, right? At this point, considering right. ref bumps in WWF at the time. By the way, WWF at the time, they did not get the F out yet at this point. Um, which... Well, that's how this match. I, I just want to. I fast forwarded it through the uh, the match here, and like just caught snippets of the match. That's how this match kind of went to the climax. It was a ref bump that was a spear to the ref. Oh yeah, he he was speared the hell out of him too. It yeah. was it was spears and knucks for everybody. So it was, and Spears and Knucks. it felt like, and I also wondered if this is the time where um, the referees went on strike for unsafe work conditions. Ooh. Like it, it, was it this one or was it late? I, thought this, I think this was later than that. I, I don't know, but it or, felt like or, it was earlier than that. Because you just, there was like five refs that got clobbered. And I was like, this seems excessive. 
And it seems like it would have been set up for something like that. But I don't know. That's that's out of context, of course. So it was good. Watch any of these, even if it's the wrong match. <laughs> Watch any Listen, William Regal you, match. If you Period. pick a William Regal versus Edge match, it's not necessarily the wrong match. There almost isn't a wrong match when it comes to this pairing. So, But given that, let's see what our assignment is for this week. My name is Professor Jacob Edwin. Hello, Wrestling Mayhem Show. This week's assignment Hi, is Primetime Wrestling, November 6th, 1989. The main event. Now, this whole episode is worth watching. You've got Dusty Rhodes. You've got one of my personal favorites, the genius, Lanny Papa. You've got the Rockers. You've got the Brain Busters. This is chock full of great moments, but the main event of this show is Mr. Perfect versus Brett the Hitman Hart. Oh, this is a match gosh. after my own heart, pardon the pun. So please pay attention, pay very close attention. You have two of the smartest professional wrestlers in there in a very professional chess match. And they would have many more matches to come that would be also just as good. Again, uh, you can follow me at Jacob Edwin on Instagram and on Twitter. And you can also support the school and support your school with ProWrestlingTees.com slash Jacob Edwin. Thank you. There you go. That is a classic right there. That is a classic. Yeah, looking, for looking forward to that. Um, this but- is really early heart, too. Mm-hmm. <sighs> this is going to be good. Um, so we'll find that out. We'll find out uh, how that is, and everybody is completely going to watch their homework in the proper homework, the right homework, not the SummerSlam, not 91. the wrong, not the SummerSlam '91, not King of the Ring '93. Nope, nope, not those other classics. The one assigned, the Ooh. one that we probably didn't watch. Uh, for now. actually, there's one, there's one on here that is like recommended for me that I kind of want to watch after. <laughs> You can do extra it's, credit, yo. It's it's from Invasion ninety two. Ooh, it's Flair versus Hart. Ooh, I might have had that tape. I might have had a. Oh, I might have had a double that tape actually. Smack. Wait, what's this one? Smack him. Oh, that's another one. What the heck. What is it? It's it. It's one of those Coliseum videos. Smack him and whack him. Smack him and whack him. Which Smack also has Black. Bret Hart versus Ric Flair for the championship. Also, the name of Ronnie Stark's best of tape. Smack him and whack him. Yes, Smack the best of Ronnie him. Stark's. Coming, coming soon to uh, the Indie Wrestling <laughs> Network. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tyler. Did you want that one? Nah, girl. <laughs> you, you can have a Smack him and whack him. No. I'll have fry him and buy him. She's like it was the '90s, man. They were running out of titles, I guess. Were they? Uh, guys, what did you also remember? Also remember, Coliseum Video was actually a, a division of a of a porn company, a porn distribution company. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it like look it up. It's when they started Coliseum Home Video, the WWF um, uh, video division. It mm-hmm. was uh, it was a porn distribution company that's awesome because <laughs> of course i mean um that's why they had all the big packaging at the time i'm sure uh, what? i'm but, sure they had the big packages i don't know if you guys remember the 80s but no other than that <laughs> tyler doesn't remember right. the 80s i just saw the entire lineup for smack em and whack em. okay <laughs> you know what we got i'm kind of curious Crush versus Berserker. Okay. That's a whack 'em. Taker versus Razor. Okay. That's a smack 'em. Kamala versus Brett. That's Flair a smack versus a Brett. Oh. And Sean versus Brett in a ladder match. Whoa. It's that ladder match? Is it? The- I don't know. How many times did they do it? It has to be the original. Oh, it probably it is probably that. 
that one. Yeah, yeah. It's probably, it's probably the first ladder match, which I'm mm-hmm. sure nobody saw until well after, right? Huh. Well, other than those uh, uh, tidbits about Coliseum Home Video, uh, what did you guys learn from wrestling this week? That's what I learned. <laughs> <The> Col- <laughs> I said other <laughs> than. Called smack em, whack em. Smack em, whack em is a thing. <laughs> oh. oh, well, I learned that maybe there is something to this grassroots Twitter social media there might be something to the social thing. media thing <laughs> is that what you're getting because, at here? because we have we now have cody versus warhorse yes and holy crap that's happening this week Tomorrow. so i kind of want to do another one okay even though it wasn't my idea okay to do the, the warhorse thing let's get lee Lee Moriarty? Let's get Lee Moriarty in this thing. I actually agree with that. R- put him in in uh, in that in that area. Mm-hmm. Show Cody Rhodes or or Warhorse. You know, you never know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If they if they if they keep doing that, bring Lee Moriarty in and sh- show the world what we already knew about Lee Moriarty. I can see it. I can see it. I like it. And, and he's getting a lot of good vibes off of uh, GCW mm-hmm. this past weekend. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, he's he won't do it. I don't think he will do no. it. We have to he, do it for him. <laughs> yeah, we, we all need to. Lee is that. is far too humble for this. Um, That's why. Yeah, yeah. So, so. Um, we, we'll have to organize something with this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if Warho- Warhorse has anything left after uh, Wednesday. Uh, Tyler, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Hmm. I learned more, most well. <laughs> I learned that I can. Uh, let's see. Uh, I learned that I'm going to get a, another shot at, you know, braiding that mask of hentai's. Probably the most important lesson I learned. That, that, that I learned. So, I didn't really, I didn't really do all that much. As well. I'm too focused on the quarantine challenge and come on. Oh, I might have learned one of the, I, I, oh, actually, you know what? I learned another one of the Hossman's names. So, there you go. That's what I learned. Moving forward. Yes. That's right. <laughs> the one after Jamie. <laughs> yes, it was. Um, I think I think that was Phil because you you beat yeah, him. Yeah, that one. Yeah, like you beat him like two weeks ago. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That, see, I learned something. Yeah. You know he's the Come he's the, he's the survivor, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, Ronnie, what'd you l- learn other than Coliseum Video? What'd you learn well, from Impact? That it's actually a really good product. And uh, nobody watches it enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, they did that. The, they did that. And then to the themselves. machine guns are back, so that's a plus. Yeah, good to see that happening. Mm-hmm. Just as good as they've ever been. I yes. found one more. Match. Even better. Even better. They never. It feels like they haven't lost a step. Especially Chris Saban. Saban doesn't wrestle in a while. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him. The Shelly I've seen. What, what Lee Moriarty up in AIW back in mm-hmm. uh, December. Uh, from I the found ch- one more match. What's that? I found one more match from Smack 'em Whack 'em. <laughs> what is it, Riz? It's Earthquake versus Repo Man. Oh my god! That's a Smack 'em. That's, that's a Smack 'em. That's a Smack 'em. Yeah, definitely Smack 'em right there. That's mm-hmm. the match nobody asked for but wanted to oh. see. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, <laughs> Bobby F J Town learned that pissed off Asuka is back, and I couldn't be happier. Although I will miss Kyrie. Oh. And also, I learned that Oscar versus Sasha should have main evented Raw. Uh, mm-hmm. Tina learned that ACH versus Janela is happening. Mm-hmm. Let's see mm-hmm. that. Um, I I learned. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 lost for what I learned. I. I, I learned it was great to um, be on the other side of the uh, 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 
of the uh, railing for a change and uh, uh, with the rail shoot the uh, last Friday. So uh, that's that was fun. And uh, I learned uh, I learned parts of West Virginia I've never seen before. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it was. It's also my first time I left. The, first time I left the state since like uh, March. So oh. it was. It was like I. I got way too excited for an hour and a half trip to West Virginia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You should come back down uh, next two yeah. weeks. Well, let's see what's happening with that uh, schedule wise. Because I think if the date is what I think it is, I think I have something on the eighth. So well, the fresh fest we're talking about. So. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Now I know how far away everybody is. Um, that's that should be fun. But um, no, everybody go check it out. Thank you, Tyler Klein, for joining us. Where can people follow what's going on with you and support you in these da- in these times? Mm-hmm. Thank you for having me. Nope. So what's your social? Oh, uh, Tyler Klein. Basically, search Tyler Klein on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You'll find it all there. And Indie Wrestling Tees, Tyler Klein as well. Excellent. Pro wrestling tees. Sorry, kind of mixed up. Ronnie Starks. Peanut gallery. You can find me on the Twitter. He's back. Oh, yes, because somebody suggested that I had to get my ass back on Twitter. Sorg. Well, because I started talking to Ronnie, and Ronnie was like, "What? When did all this stuff happen?" And I was like, "Where have you been?" And he says, "I haven't been on Twitter." And I said, "Well, maybe you should go back." <laughs> <laughs> yes, follow me on the Twitter at Starks Wrestling. Uh, you can find me on the Facebook, Ronnie Starks. You can find oh, yeah. me on the Instagram at Ronnie Starks. I post a lot of toys and shit there. And you can buy my T-shirt or the Good Guys T-shirt at Pro Wrestling okay. Tees. There you go. There you go. And both of you will be a part of Real Shoot Wrestling in the coming weeks. Yes. Um, and have mm-hmm. been. So please uh, follow that for that. Any other? Anybody else doing weird, wacky stuff? Tyler, I feel like you're booked on like a yes. We actually the uh, runway will be in New Jersey on August 22nd for Stan Styles Intergender Bonanza. Bonanza. There you go. So it'll be a good time out that way. So catch Tyler and Calvin out there. Excellent. It sounds like Jersey. Does Jersey have a commission? Like, or are they just doing straight Not shows really. right now? They don't. But it's. Okay. Uh, uh, it's already gotten approval. They've had a couple shows in the building already. Okay, that's uh, good. I think it's like H two O or something like that. Okay, um, the hardcore one. Yeah, but they've got. He's. They're being very, very careful with everything. Good, good, with good, this, good. So, good. Everybody, yeah. Especially if you're going to any wrestling shows, you guys on the talent, you guys on the fan side, just make sure everybody's taking care of everybody and crossing their T's, dotting their eyes with everything that's going on right now. Everybody, please be safe out there. Uh, Riz, you are at Riz Plays Games on the twi- Twitch. That is correct. Give me a subscribe. As well as, as well as the Twitters and the Facebooks. And yes, please subscribe. Use the. You can either you know just do it straight up. Just give me you know just get just put it put your money down, or just use Jeff Bezos' money and just pay me. Bezos' money. <laughs> he does. He has a lot of it. With that Twitch Prime. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here for the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We will be back next week. Uh, Indie Mayhem Show is still on hiatus, but we are in the works of uh, trying to spin up some new interviews for that. And, of course, please go check out Prospect Pro Wrestling with the new matches for the Quarantine Challenge and uh, 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 Fight Underground. <laughs> I almost said, like, Final Destination, and that's not right. <laughs> Whoa, no, no, no. The Final Destination. Fight Underground has uh, new matches. Zeke. Mercer versus uh, Justin Idol just dropped uh, tonight as of this taping. So go check that out good. in the aftermath. Yes, uh, some great stuff happening there. Did he, bring his, did he bring his wall with him? He did not bring the mustard wall with him, no, that I'm aware of. Um, I cannot I cannot confirm or deny whether he did to the uh, post-interviews. Uh, that'll, that'll be up tomorrow night. So, um, But thank you, everybody. Thank you for being a part of this. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.